Yes, welcome back. I am Jisha from Budswal. Welcome to a new episode of Budswal. Today the video includes a complete description of the beautiful plant, Pink Lady. Uh, in this plant, uh, we can decorate our uh, home with a hanging basket to enjoy falling trails. Pink Lady is a succulent creeping plant from the family Camelnesiae. This species comes from Central and South America. Pink Lady is also known as a creeping inch plant, Bolivian Jew or turtle vine. Its scientific name Calicia ripens. The perennial plant forms creeping mates. The fl flowering shoots are ascending. The fleshy, delicate leaves grow smaller towards the tip of the shoot. It grows quickly, multiplies easily by long, creeping uh, shoots that root uh, in each node as soon as it is uh, on the ground. It grows up to 4 inches or 10 cm tall. Leaves are dark green above, rich purple below and up to 1 inch or 2.5 cm long. The flowers are small, white and appear in, the, uh, in late spring or early summer. It is commonly planted as an ornamental uh, in gardens and in hanging baskets. It can easily be propagated by cuttings and um, by plant fragments that rapidly colonize areas where it grows. There's a reason why one of Calicia Ripon's common name is termed as Pink Lady. One look at the plant and you will surely know why. The leaves are obviously showing a shade of pink stripes on its surface. The leaves of the pink wine plant are variegated. It comes with a combination of light pink, green and uh, white or cream. If you wish to observe a pink flowering, uh, wait for the summer seasons. A good uh, lightning condition throughout the plant's growing phase will help them produce flowers in season. Then we can see propagation and care. Uh, there are two ways to propagate a pink lady. One is asexual which means that you use seeds. Another one is uh, vegetative wherein you take stem cuttings to multiply your plant. Between these two, propagation of pink lady is best achieved vegetatively. You can take healthy and mature stem cuttings and plant them in separate pots. Tend to it by providing enough water and partially shaded light until it develops its own roots. Once new growth is observed, you can transition the plant little to receive bright light. Now we move on to Pink Lady's care and maintenance requirements. The good thing is that this house plant is definitely easy to manage. Uh, it won't give you much trouble when it comes to Pink Lady's light requirements. The best condition uh, lends towards bright but indirect light. Uh, if you are planning to put it indoors, uh, you would have to ensure a good source of light whether natural or artificial. An east facing window would be a great location. You could just add a sheer curtain to serve as a protective barrier. When light uh, in the city uh, gets too strong, outside the plant could tolerate direct light but not too intensity, uh, intensely. Um, so it would be best to plant it under partial shade. Too much exposure to uh, sun could lead uh, to fading colors of the vegetated, uh, variegated leaves of the pink lady. And next is the potting mix. Select a pot with proper drainage. A standard potting mix uh, will do for growing Galicia ripens. Like um, with many other plant species, it is beneficial to have a mix that's well aerated mm -hmm. and well draining. Um, you can take 50% of potting soil, 25% perlite and 25 succulent mix or a similar free, free uh, draining dye combo using a mix of orchid bark, fine pumice, perlite, uh, fern, fiber or vermiculite. Next is the watering. The plant loves to have consistently moist soil, meaning to say you have to de devote yourselves to regular watering of Calicia ripens. Uh, you could check this by lifting the pot. Uh, when the container feels light, it's a sign that you should add water. Otherwise, you wait for more days to pass. You also have to look at the condition of the foliage. If they are hydrated, the inner leaves uh, will shed. Uh, you'll also notice browning the 
leaf tips if this happens you could uh, employ bottom up watering place the pot in a bowl of water so it absorbs the moisture from below uh, remove the pot once the soil is saturated uh, summer uh, season could be challenging if the uh, heat gets really intense moisture loss would be faster than usual this time you could reallocate your plant to a cooler location or one that is partially shaded an average humidity level will suit the growing needs of a calicea ripens so there's nothing to worry about if your plant is placed indoors there's no need to for regular misting uh, unless the environment gets too dry uh, in that case adding excess moisture would be helpful if the amount of moisture in the air is too low plants will uh, transpire at a higher rate uh, losing more water than necessary pruning pruning calicea ripens is an important task especially since the plant has a creeping habit to keep it compact you could pinch off the tip of the stems especially the mature ones another option is to thin out the plant by removing some of the stolons um, it's not ideal to have a plant that's too dense because it will hinder light uh, penetration and air circulation you can discard unhealthy stolons right away but you can save the healthy one for propagation um, don't throw away the cut portions in vacant lots if you don't want them uh, um, them to grow there uh, repotting repotting calicea ripens will have to be done frequently I remember this plant is a fast grower you can do it once a year depending on the need however don't be uh, deceived by the massive growth of the foliage since it produces stolons they may uh, look bulky on the outside but still not pot from below uh, in this case pruning is much more appropriate than reporting but uh, if you uh, see the roots coming out of the pot it's definitely a call for soil and uh, container replacement and do not forget to trim off dead red dead roots mm, is calicea ripens toxic apparently this species is considered non toxic to uh, pets and humans so they are perfectly safe to handle how it can be poisonous if ingested in high amounts this uh, pets and diseases although the plant is a resilient one there are certain situations that you have to be careful of um, your pink lady is still a living organism after all it has its own vulnerabilities uh, so to avoid such uh, let's learn about potential pink lady problems that we may cross path with in the future among the calicea ripens pests are spider mites mealybugs aphids white fly root mealybugs elantris such organisms could seriously damage the plants foliage and root system if they are left to multiply uh, it's important that you have to your plan to check from time to time remove such foreign organisms whenever spotted leaf spot diseases uh, botrytis powdery mildo and uh, root rot are the identified calicea ripens diseases they are caused by pathogens that have taken residence either in the plant pods or the soil certain environmental conditions uh, could trigger the, their growth and reproduction it could be due to excess moisture or overwatering Uh, these diseases uh, could easily kill your pink lady plant thus uh, you have to be vigilant report the plant uh, right away if signs of root rot start to show uh, withdraw watering uh, for a certain period until the uh, root of uh, roots or the foliage uh, healed apply fungicide whenever necessary Shoo away the pets by uh, spraying diluted dishwashing soap uh, on the foliage, especially uh, on the colonized areas. At times, water spray application will be enough. If they keep coming back, uh, it's time that you use uh, insecticides to kill them completely. However, this uh, situation rarely happens, uh, so you can relax. Uh, growing a pink lady plant should be an easy task this or um, ornamental is uh, undemanding uh, and uh, would grow pretty much uh, on its own you will invest very little time and effort to taking care of it uh, it's a beginner friendly foliage plant make uh, sure to provide the best growing conditions uh, as much as possible plants are like humans they get uh, stressed and sick when the environment get, gets harsh um today's episode ends here hope you like it 
uh, we will uh, uh, see you soon more with another plan specifications thanks for watching take care bye bye